Hello everybody, welcome to Lithium with Arthritis. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers, thanks for watching these videos. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and that's all this video is, I just want to address a question I'm commonly asked um, about my diet. Uh, as I said, I think I might have put it in the comments already, I'm not the best person to ask. I don't have some kind of strict diet that I follow. Um, my best advice I could give to you, um, limit your sugar, everything in moderation, and stay busy. Honestly, for me, staying busy is the best thing I've been doing uh, for the past uh, year or so. Uh, I don't got time to eat big meals really lately, uh, it seems like. So what I do is, um, just I'll run you through. Um, I'll wake up in the morning, a cup of coffee, and either a, a, a small protein shake or uh, fruit and spinach shake and then I go to work and I might have a granola bar between that and lunch then lunch honestly completely honest uh, at work if I didn't bring my lunch which I, a lot of times I don't have time or, or I forget I'll eat fast food if you eat fast food that's fine just you don't have to get <laughs> that extra large meal you know what I mean um, you know a water instead of the soda uh, you know, don't get the biggie fries or whatever, stuff like that. Just, you know, everything in moderation. And then for dinner, I'll eat whatever my kids are eating. Um, what I like to do, I like to make dinners with um, whole chicken breast. Uh, when I go grocery shopping, typically um, I'll buy a big pack of chicken breast and chop them up into, uh, cut all the fat off them and cut them up so they're pre ready So when I gotta make dinner, I can, I can typically use that. Um, and then again, like I said, just limit your sugar, you know, I, I, I am a fiend for chocolate and I like a lot of sugar, but I, I cut back instead of, uh, two scoops of sugar in my coffee, I've cut it down to half a scoop. Um, instead of a snack after every meal, after dinner, I might have like two cookies or something like that. So just everything in moderation. Um, oh, I wanted to give you an... Uh, that's really all I had to say about diet, so I just want to give you an update as to my status. Uh, it's been about two months since my last uh, video where I told you I was diagnosed with lupus. Um, update, I've been doing great. Um, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but it turns out one of my medications that I was on for arthritis was actually causing the lupus to show itself and really flare up. That's why I had been feeling so bad. So since she took me off that medicine and up the dosage of my other medicine, I've been really feeling great. Um, with that being said, the key to results is consistency. Uh, the other day, I was having a flare up, I worked out. It wasn't a groundbreaking workout, I didn't <laughs> break any records. Uh, I, cut my, I basically cut my workout in half and just told myself, just get through what you can. And during that workout, I felt better. I didn't, my flare up wasn't completely gone, I didn't feel 100%, but I felt better than I did before I started the workout. Keep that in mind. Um, also, today's a prime example. I just got done with a workout um, and I hurt my back uh, last week on vacation. And so what I've been doing is I cut my weight down uh, with the lifting and like today I did a 100% seated workout and was very, very controlled and um, with my movements, just very careful. Um, so just consistency, stay in the gym, you know, uh, whether it be a three day, four day, five day workout plan you want to follow, that's fine. But on those days you're supposed to work out, work out. Um, even if it's only 20 minutes, just get in there. Um, bottom line, stay motivated. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, that's all. I just wanted to, you know, tell you where I answer those questions and, you know, you know my status. Um, hope you're doing well. Stay motivated. Thanks for watching. God bless.